In this video, we're going to take a look at how to access your Maker Gear M3 through its access point Wi-Fi mode, and then move it over to your home network. Just a quick note, if you are capable of hooking your Maker Gear M3 up to your network through Ethernet, we highly recommend you do that. We've got an Ethernet setup guide, it's a very easy process, and even if your M3 is connected to your router via Ethernet, you can still connect to it via Wi-Fi devices like your laptop, phone, or tablet. Before we get started with everything else, you're going to want to plug in and power on your Maker Gear M3. To turn the unit on, go ahead and switch the power supply towards the line. The two-tone sound means that the Rambo board is on and working properly. You should also see a red solid light and a green light on your Raspberry Pi. As soon as the Raspberry Pi connects to the Rambo, you should hear a series of notes. It'll take a minute or two for the M3 to start up and start broadcasting its access point network. So here on my laptop, I'm connected to the MGA network. That's my home network that I use to normally access the internet. So I've got my network name, and then I happen to know my network password as well. So I'm going to go to setup.makergear.com. I'm going to get this Maker Gear M3 Wi-Fi setup guide. Right down here, I've, it'll ask me to put in my serial number. So this serial number is found on the back of your Maker Gear M3. And when you put in this serial number, it's going to automatically populate a variety of network names and passwords. So here in this step one, it's telling you to power on your M3. If you are using Windows, you should download the Bonjour print services. This is going to make it easier to access your printer. Linux and Mac users should already have this protocol installed. And if for some reason you can't install Bonjour, or you're having problems with it, you will be able to access your printer via an, I, via an IP address. We'll show you how to do that later in this video. So once your, power, your printer is powered up and you have everything installed properly, you're going to connect your Wi-Fi to this network that's been generated. So you'll notice this is M3 printer followed by the last five digits of your serial number. So if I go to my Wi-Fi, I should see M3 printer 83R48. I can go back here and copy this password. The password is going to be your full serial number. And just click join to join the network. I can see that I am connected to that network now. Keep in mind that now that you're connected to the printer's access point, you're no longer connected to the internet. So don't refresh or close setup.makergear.com or else you'll have to go back to your home network to reload it. And I can go to go in step two. So now this is going to have me navigate to a temporary setup link. You'll see this as an IP address of 10.250.250.1. This address is only going to work when I'm connected directly to the M3 printer through its access point mode. So right now I'm on M3 printer's access point mode, M3 printer 83R48, so I can use this address. But later I'm not going to be able to use this link. So here we have the OctoPrint interface. We can do all sorts of things with the printer with this OctoPrint interface, but today we're going to focus on logging in and moving it onto our home network. So over here I've got my login prompt. If I go back to setup.makergear.com, I can come down to username and password. So my username is printer. My password is my serial number again. Now that I am logged in, I should get this message about not being connected to the internet. If I click wireless configuration, it'll open up the network connection settings. From here, I should be able to see all of the different Wi-Fi access points in the area. So right here, we can see MGA. That's my home network. I'm going to click connect, and it's going to ask me for my password. You need to put You'll need to put your password in a second time to verify it. This is going to help make sure that your printer is actually able to connect to your network. If the printer is unable to connect to the network, it'll just stay in access point mode. As soon as I click confirm here, a couple of things are going to happen. First of all, I'm going to get disconnected from the M3's access point mode. If I check out the networks in the area, I should no longer see the printer's access point mode. Keep in mind that some operating systems may cache 
the list of access point modes. So you might see it persist, but after a minute or two, it should go away. The second thing is I should now be connected to my home network again. So see how I'm automatically connected to MGA? If for some reason you're not, go ahead and jump back to your home network. Back here in Octoprint, you'll see that my URL changed. It's now m3printer83r48.local. So here's what happened. This page was connected to the printer via its access point mode. When the printer moved to my home network, that access point mode disappeared, so this page started to look for the printer again. Once my computer connected to my home network, the page was able to find the M3, which was now also connected to the home network. Let's go back to the M3 printer setup page and go to step three. Here it rehashes some of the instructions that we had, as well as giving us that default address that we can directly go to. So if this hasn't automatically loaded, what should you do? Let's go back to the M3 printer setup page, go to step three. It's got the instructions about wireless configurations. So it's got this address, the m3printer83r48.local. So go ahead and try that link first. If that doesn't work, go back to setup.makergear.com and you'll see this link to the Find My Printer tool. The Find My Printer tool is designed to work with Chrome or Firefox. So here I'm in Safari, so it's not going to work properly. Let's move over to Chrome where I've got the tool loaded. Now just click Scan for Printers. As you can see, I've got a lot of printers on this network. Yours will probably have far fewer. And here we see M3 printer 83R48 along with an IP address link. So we can go ahead and click on that. And here we see our Octoprint interface. We'll have to log in again. But it's the same interface as before. From time to time, the Find My Printer tool may not show a name for the printer, but you can always just click on the link. And once you've opened up your Octoprint interface, you'll see the name of the printer in the upper left corner. If you're still having problems connecting to your printer, go back to setup.makerger.com and try running through the steps again. Your printer may have had some sort of problem connecting to your network, whether it be a password issue, a timeout issue, or some other problem. This is, of course, assuming that you still see the network name listed in setup.makerger.com in your network list from your computer. If your access point is no longer visible and you can't connect through the .local or Find My Printer tool, don't worry, we can help. We have an extensive article on different things you can try to bring the network back up, or you can contact Maker Gear Support for more assistance. If this is your first time using the M3, we recommend that you go through the begin quick check process. The process is going to verify the factory calibration and let you make any adjustments as needed to your printer.